No, that's not gonna work. Tell me about these, tell me about these shoes. No, that's stupid. That's stupid. Let me think, let me think. Yo, I got an idea. Dude, shut up. I don't want your suggestions. Get out. I think there's only one thing to do. Got it. Dream crew, dream crew, dream crew. They just wanna do it how we do. Living my life like the Beatles. I just put up with some lethal. Alright, guys, so on this channel over the last few years, we have featured a few different sneaker collections from different YouTubers, celebrities, even myself. We've shown a bunch of sneaker collections. But I want to do things a little bit different. Five sneakers that I can't live without. This is kind of a play on the GQ series, which is 10 items that I can't live without but we're doing it sneaker related and we are only doing five sneakers so today that's what we are going to be doing basically we're gonna start out with a banger we're actually gonna be heading over to go to a house that is gonna be pretty dope I'm gonna be linking up with the two hype crew they are like the guys that are known for like basketball videos 2k videos and overall a bunch of dope guys that make dope content let's head over to the two hype house and find out what are the five sneakers each of them can't live without I'll see you guys there Alright guys, so we just pulled up to the two hype house. Actually, we've been here for like over an hour now. Basically, we are gonna go to each person's room and we are gonna find out what are the five sneakers that they cannot live without. Let's go check out some of their shoes. So let's go. I'm really good at playing guitar, but today we're focusing on sneakers. I don't know whose room this is, but let's open it up and find out. So Hello? Can we open the door? Yo, what up? What's good? How you doing, man? I'm good. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going to all the two hype guys' rooms and I'm finding out what are their five most important shoes, the ones that you can't live without. So, okay. I want you to show me those sneakers. <sighs> okay, okay. They're already already picked out. Right oh, they're already picked out right there. <laughs> okay, so first right. thing I see is you're a Cali boy, right? Yeah. So I see a, a lot of Vans here. Obviously, I love Vans. I wear Vans the most, so I buy a lot of them. I'm not gonna buy a bunch of stuff and not wear it. So definitely my favorite Vans by far. Custom Rick and Morty. Art is pretty good on them. I don't wear them out much. These are gonna seem basic. Like, dude, I, I like those. Dude, I don't know. Like, I love the Toy Story Vans. <sighs> yeah, I have these ones, but I also have the Buzz Lightyear. Have you ever well, wore yeah. one of each? That's I like not. a That's like a that's Disney sick. thing. If next that's time Go to Disneyland, wear one of each. Deconstructed vans. I didn't know there was a rumor about these that they were there was supposedly a collab with yeah, Virgil, so but then it just there was a through. rumor that Virgil was working with Vans before he officially signed with Nike. So people were saying like this was the shoe that would have came out under the off white branding. But I don't know. It's a rumor. A lot of people say that just because the lace has the off the wall, off the wall interesting in stuff. Marks, so. Mickey Mouse vans. I wear these out a lot. I like I like the white vans and it has yeah. the Mickey Mouse on it. So I think that's pretty cool. Favorite pair of basketball shoes that I own. Undefeated Kobe Pro Tro or Pro Tro ones. Yeah, yeah Pro Tro yeah. ones. Yeah, I don't wear them. I, I probably should more. It's my nicest basketball shoe, and that's yeah. that's pretty much it, honestly. Yeah, I love those. I love the camo vibes. All right, cool. Thank you for showing us your no vibe. Problem, Appreciate it. it. So we're about to go into this other room. There's a lot of shoes outside the door already. Maybe there's more heat inside, so let's find out who's in here. Is anybody in there? Yo, Hi. what up? How you doing, man? That's good. How's good everything? to see you. You good? You good? Yeah, wow, good. look, he has the five ready for me, too. I have the five ready. You must have heard the rumors of the video we're making. Okay, I heard so. It was happening. These ones are lit to me because, like, my first, like, NBA collab was with James Harden, kind of. That's pretty and crazy. And I played him in these shoes, and then he yeah. signed them, and I haven't worn them since, and it's just like. One of the coolest moments. So. That's dope. I had yeah. to have those. And these shoes have been my favorite shoes since they came out. But obviously, yeah. when they came out, I was in like middle school, so I couldn't get them. And then I was like, if I ever hit half a million subs, I'm copping these. So this was like a goal. This was a goal. Okay. So it's like these are like a representation of me of like hitting 500k and just my dream shoe. This is my favorite shoe of all time. Had to caught these. Then these shoes got kind of they're, <laughs> they're important to me because it has like Kanye stuff on the side. That's dope. 
because my girlfriend like paints. She oh, made she these. made those for you. Yeah. Oh wow, that makes them extra but, special. Yeah, so that's why they're like important. And then these are really important to me because when we did the two wipe game, I won MVP. In these. Oh yeah, nice. So like nice. I have this is like yeah, I have yeah, to keep yeah. these. These are and they're like one of the sickest shoes. In my yeah, opinion. they're really dope. And then the final one is this bad boy because the hype piece. This yes, is your inner this hype is the hype. This shoe, it's pretty worn down now. But like when I first got it, me and Chris got it at the same time. Yeah, it was like a thousand. Yeah. But now what are they like? <laughs> Dude, in certain sizes, they're like up to four or five thousand now. Yeah, which is just insane. I don't know. It's like my most. I guess it's like the the first hype shoe. Like yeah. hype, like. Hyper, like hyper beast? I don't know. Not hyper. <laughs> hyper, hyper, hyper beast. I think they're really dope. Yeah, I love definitely. those shoes. So I had to put it in my top five. Well, so my personal favorite out of all of them, people yeah. would expect me to go for the off white, but this KD, Dude, when it godly. came with the little hoop and everything. I have the box and everything. These are grails, man. I, I kind of want to get these now. <laughs> I haven't seen you these in a while. Those? I don't. I had oh, like baby. I had like the uh, Easter ones. This is the best KD ever. Dude, I in have my like, opinion, this is the best oh, KD ever. So. I gotta go with these as my favorite, but thank you. I appreciate you showing us your of course, five. Of course. Thank Maybe you. one day we'll do a full collection, but today we're just focusing yeah, on the yeah, five. Yeah. So. Hey, if you want some more, I got some more heat. I got, I got some in the closet. Now nah, we'll save it. We'll save All it for right. next time. We got a lot of guys to look at. So uh, yeah, let's go to the next room. All right, guys, we made it down the hallway. Let's see who's in here. Yo. Yo, what's what good, up, bro? How you doing? Been waiting for you. All right, cool. See, yeah, everybody's ready for me to, sh ready, to show the bro. five, man. Yeah, what you got, man? What's your five? Um, I guess we can start from this side and go over. So I got the uh, the Martin LeBrons. Um, this was like one of my favorite shows growing up. So when I dropped these, I had to get them. So I got those. I got the Tony Starks. Those are fire. Yeah, Tony Stark Hardens, my favorite Avenger, Iron Man. So yeah. I had to get those. Crazy, they came out with those at the perfect timing too. Like exactly. right around Avengers yep. and like the whole- They know what they're doing, man. Exactly. They know exactly. what they're doing. The wing ones, these are actually the first ones that I ever bought. I never owned a pair of ones. Really? I bought these. I was just, I don't know. I wasn't really against them, but it was like, I would just rather have like other shoes all the time. And then I bought these and I started buying ones. So this, this shoe time. like gave you a yeah, new appreciation it like, for the classic. Absolutely. Yeah. And like people said that these were super comfortable because it's like real leather, genuine leather. So yeah. I don't know. I love them. NASA Paul George's. I love NASA. I love space. I'm obsessed with everything space. So I had to cop these. It says remove before flight. No, you have I to. I don't do really that. fly anymore. So <laughs> I left the tag on. So. Okay. And then these, the What the LeBrons. I wanted these when they first dropped. I couldn't afford them. Now I'm in a position where I can buy stuff that I want. So I went back, waited for the uh, time to be right. They were a little expensive, but yeah, yeah. to get them in perfect condition. But went back, got these, tried to play with them in a game, got not blisters. The, not the best LeBron, right? <laughs> yeah, not the best LeBron <laughs> to play in. So that's probably my five. If I had to do like an honorable mention, I have the uh, Big Baller brand, the Mellow Ones. Oh man, dude, I have a bad history with Big Baller brand. The Lamello Ones, I got those. Those, those are probably like the They're honorable cool. mention just because like it's just like a novelty item yeah yeah i like hype shoes but to me i've already been i was a manager at Foot Locker, so i've oh, already really? had i've already had the whole collection and sold the collection yeah. and got like a small collection and sold the small collection i've been through yeah. it all so now i really just buy shoes that either mean something to me or i really personally like like it yeah. doesn't matter if everybody else don't like them if i like them i get them Oh, man. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Everybody's I'm good. been hyping up your collection. They say My collection? You, they say you have the most expensive collection. I probably do. All right, I so run us so. down. Let's go. Let's top right. five in your collection. So top five now, these aren't like my most expensive shoes, but I think like each of them kind of have like meaning and they're pretty dope. I'll start off down here. I think I think you remember these. Yeah, I definitely remember. You remember those. these? So this was a this is a sneaker con classic. Wait, um, this was the game where I was against you. Yeah, this is the game, you know, I'd co MVP with Cash. Picture Domus hooked me up with some Dragon Ball Z thing. You guys know me, LSK, LS Kakarot. Which stands for light skin Goku, by the way, for those that don't know. Got the Frieza right here. These are some PGs. Really comfortable. Then we go right here. Now these are the like actually my newest shoe. Some Louis Vuitton high top sneakers that are just, I think they're super clean. Yeah, those are my new favorite shoes to wear now. These. Now these are also the MVPs right here. This is where I dropped about 30. So these, and these are the Kobe pizzas, I call them. Uh, Pizza. <laughs> yeah, these are just like, I love Kobe shoes. These are the Kobe 8s. Or yeah, these are the 8s, yeah. Yeah, so I like 6s, 8s, 
and then sevens down here. Now right here, these are, I think they're called Pass the Torch? Pass the Torch, uh, yeah, I think they're Pass the Torch. Pass the Torch Kawhis, uh, these are just like my favorite ones. These are pretty rare for me, like these, this was like my first cop that was like super expensive too. These have gone crazy in price. Yeah, like, and I wear them a the lot, finals. as you can tell, but. These like, are going for like over two racks now, which is bro, insane. Bro, when Kawhi was in the, when the Raptors were in the finals, these were going for like, in my size, six, seven K. Yeah, dude, it, and I got these Fine. on GOAT for 900 something with tax, it was like a thousand flat. Yeah. It was crazy, bro. I, I, when they were at that price, I was hesitant. Like, I don't want to pay that much for a Kawhi shoe. I don't want to pay that much. And then it started booming and I'm like, damn, I should have yeah. done it. And then down here, these were actually a gift. Really? Jesser hooked me up on my oh, birthday okay. with this one. Uh, these are the Barcelona 7s. Very hard to get and very expensive. These I got to go with them. I just like miss, uh, Mismatching my shoes. Kind of did like a little hack here. Yeah, yeah. technically has six shoes, but yes. it's okay. Yes, yes, but <laughs> I mean, it's like a, the same seven, you yeah. know, same Barcelona. Super underrated, I would say. In the that's what, I, the that's what I'm saying. And the colorway is like super loud. I love like loud shoes. Yeah. That's why I like the Kobe's. Yeah, man, that's my that's my top five. Or... No, I think you did a good job. I think you have a really solid five. I, there's a lot of heat right here. I love the Kobe's. Obviously, you got two pairs of Kobe's. Yeah, I'm pretty simple. I don't like going too crazy, but... On the court, I like going super loud. Yeah. Just, I don't want to match, you know what I'm saying? And well, at least you have the game that, you know, you're not that guy that has good shoes <laughs> with no with no game, like that myself. <laughs> he has both, well, so I would, I would say all that. I like when we play together, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. exactly, you know? <laughs> all right, well, thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. What would you rate my, my five out of ten? Like, what mm. would you... What do you think? Compared to everybody... Okay, actually, a better question. Compared to what you've seen so far... Mm -hmm. What would you rank me in the, the Heat collection in the house right now? Damn, it's kind of hard. Uh, it's between you and Jezzer right now. Yeah. Because he had like the, the off-whites, he yeah. had the KD nerfs, which I really like. But I would put the nerfs on the same level as the Barcelonas. So I gotta give you guys a tie right now. I think it, I, I was gonna say, I feel like we tie because we damn near have the same fucking glass. Yeah, it, it's very, like he, he had a good pair of Jordan ones, yeah. you had a good pair of Jordan ones. Yeah. He had a good this, this like it's very equal. So it, it's right there, so. It's right there. Yeah, yeah. But so now we got James. Last but definitely not least, let's go check out his collection to end it all. Finally guys, we get to check out your collection. We did the custom video, but we're gonna be checking out some of your sneakers. Dude, there's some crazy stuff that I see in front of me. <laughs> this is insane. All right, go ahead, I'm gonna let you take over. I guess we'll start from like LeBron 9 free gums. We're talking about these. I love LeBron 9s. Probably my favorite LeBron ever. I bought these when they first came out. I basically wore, played so much basketball, I wore them out. When yeah, I was in college, I just stopped caring about sneakers. So I'm about <laughs> to get a ton of hate. I had no snowshoes. I went to college on the East Coast. These were my snowshoes oh for a minute. Oh my God, dude. Literally, there's no traction on yeah. here. It's so, like a tight old tire. I have been through thick and thin with these shoes. These shoes have been for the highs of my life, for the lows of my life. So I will never get rid of them. Love these shoes would you ever put these back on for a game just for that like feeling of like damn like let me bring these out not this specific pair but i have bought two more pairs of okay. nines neither of them i like as much as the free guns though i'd love to get new free guns. Yeah, literally it went to the damn air yeah. bubble like at least the air bubble hasn't popped next i'll do another shoe i gotta go with the yeezys even though they're not super hype anymore i just think they're the most comfortable shoe out right now and i pretty much wear these every day so that's why i gotta go with these so these are off-white chicago's i made with salmon leather i didn't know salmon leather was a thing until i kind of researched because python's kind of like in right now with like customs but i wanted to do something different and salmon is pretty sustainable so did these salmons these are custom made by me uh that's crazy when he told me that <laughs> wait, i picked up the shoe and i said who made these for you he's like oh i made it myself i'm like what yeah that's I got a crazy sewing machine in the garage so these are super cool really comfortable like way more comfy than like any store-bought one to be honest i love this shoe i've been wearing it pretty much non-stop since i made it a few days ago uh these are the uh i call them jack-o-lantern i wanted to do a off white Jordan 1 version of the Hollow's Eve uh blazer because i have that shoe and i love it but i don't find it super comfortable uh yeah i just made this today so again this one still has a lot of construction marks that have been cleaned up but how do you okay so when you start a shoe like you make this where do you get the tongue from and like what bottom do you start with do you just buy a regular jordan one and just go from there or what so this is a uh all white mid sole 
The tongue is the foam is from a website called Foam Factory. The fabric is from Joann's. Oh, really? The leather is from this store in downtown called Soderma. They sell like a ton of leather and shoe supplies. How long does this take you? So I started this one on Monday, but I did work all day Monday, Tuesday, and today before you came on these. Really? So this was probably about 30 hours of real time. That is actually shoe. crazy. I had no idea you do that. That is. Yeah, I mean, I just started. These are the yeah. first two shoes of mine that actually look good. All the other ones, like, the upper would look good, and the toe was all bumpy and messed up. Yeah. So these are the first two that came out, like, clean. My favorite shoe of all time, I haven't worn them. I've broken my rule that if I buy a shoe, I have to wear it. I've just been afraid, because these are my favorite shoes of all time. LeBron 8 South Beaches. Damn, a dead stock pair. Dead stock I have pair. not seen that in a very long yeah. time. Yeah, never been worn, so I, I don't know. I'm just... I'm scared to put them on. I don't even know what occasion I'm saving them for, but I have to wear them. It's my rule. But yeah, this is my favorite shoe of all time. I've wanted it since the day it dropped. Obviously couldn't afford it till I moved here. So yeah. Best LeBron of all time, you think? Yeah, easily. I would I say so. so. That that South Beach 8, crazy. Look at that. Look at the line on the tongue with the eyes. I know. The detail is, is insane. They went crazy with these, man. Well, dude, like your, I thought yours was going to be like whatever, but... He really impressed me with his five. So I got to give it to you. The customs are sick, man. These are really dope. You know, once you get a little bit better and better and better, I might have yeah. to be like, yo, make me we a pair. We might have to collab on a pair, yeah. Dude, I would be so down. Shout out to the rest of the two hype guys too for showing their collections or, or their five favorite in their collections. I'm going to head out now. <laughs> All right, crew family, I hope you enjoyed the two hype sneaker collection video. If you guys want to see more collections like this of other people showing the five most important shoes to them, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and make sure you comment down below other YouTubers, celebrities, or some of my friends that you would like to see in this series that's in the vlogs. Again, you are watching the underdog season, so I appreciate you for tuning in for the third episode. And before we head out, I got to tell you guys about the perfect sneaker bag from Soul Premise. Soul Premise makes the dopest bags. I wish I had one on me right now, but unfortunately I'm driving and I needed to get this video up ASAP. If you check out their website, which I'm gonna link down below, they have the perfect bags for sneakers. If you travel a lot like me, their bags are super clutch. It's got about five compartments for sneakers on the backpack. Some of the quality on these bags are insane. And if you guys did not know, we give you guys a little bit of a percentage off if you use my code. So make sure you guys use my code. They make such a dope product. That's why I've been partnering with them recently. So definitely check them out. I will be giving you guys an in-depth review of the bag very soon. So stay tuned for that. Probably going to be on my next video. Today, I'm kind of just, you know, hyping it up. And then on the next video i'll be able to actually show you guys how the bag actually works and why it's so clutch but thank you guys for watching like i said hit that thumbs up i'll see you guys on the next episode and we're out Peace. dream crew dream crew dream crew yeah. they just want to do it how we do yeah. living my life like the beatles Ooh. i just pulled up with some lethal Ooh. they getting mad and deceitful yeah. i make it hard to be peaceful yeah. they tell me i got an ego but i'm putting up for my people